around 70 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period, Asia was home to a diverse range of dinosaurs. Many of these had close relatives in North America, and some even resembled the famous Tyrannosaurus rex. One such dinosaur was Tarbosaurus, though it didn't have a name back then. It was a unique species of Tyrannosaurus discovered much later. The Tarbosaurus fossils were discovered by a Soviet dig team in the Gobi Desert. They found a large skull and vertebrae that closely resembled the T-Rex. Initially, the Soviets thought they had found their own version of the Tyrannosaurus and named it Tyrannosaurus Batar, with Batar meaning hero. Along with the Tarbosaurus, three other theropods were found, each varying in size. This led to the creation of two new species of Gorgosaurus and a new genus for the largest skeleton, which was named Tarbosaurus, meaning the alarming lizard. While Soviet paleontologists were correct in identifying a new genus, they made a mistake in their classification. A decade later, further analysis revealed that all the theropods discovered during that expedition actually belonged to a single genus and species, Tarbosaurus. This led to the idea of it being a new Tyrannosaurus or Gorgosaurus being discarded. Despite the initial confusion, Tarbosaurus was undeniably a member of the Tyrannosaurus family. It shared many features with its relatives, including an S-shaped neck, small hands, and fused parietal bones. The Tarbosaurus most resembled the Tyrannosaurus, with similar body proportions and nearly identical skull and teeth. Both species had comparable endocranial structures, Though there were differences, the Tyrannosaurus had a wider skull and larger hands. Tarbosaurus, in contrast, had the smallest hands relative to body size among Tyrannosaurs. Paleontologists now believe that the Tyrannosaurus and Tarbosaurus were sister taxa, meaning they were each other's closest relatives within the Tyrannosaur family, known as the Tyrannosaurinae. A third member of this group, Zhucheng Tyrannus, was smaller and older, residing in Asia. Some paleontologists once proposed that Tarbosaurus gave rise to the Tyrannosaurus rex, hypothesizing that individuals crossed the Bering Strait during its connection. The idea that Tarbosaurus gave rise to Tyrannosaurus rex is now considered incorrect. Older Tyrannosaurs, like Daspletosaurus, are now known from North America and may have evolved into the T-Rex. Additionally, a recent study revealed an older Tyrannosaurus species, Tyrannosaurus macraensis, which predates Tarbosaurus, further debunking this hypothesis. Despite these findings, the study confirmed that Tarbosaurus and Tyrannosaurus were sister taxa. This connection, however, has overshadowed Tarbosaurus's reputation, as the T-Rex is now considered the biggest member of its family, leaving Tarbosaurus as the second largest Tyrannosaur of the 13 genera. Tarbosaurus was still an enormous creature, Adult specimens averaged 10 meters, 33 feet in length and stood 3 meters, 9.8 feet, tall at the hips. Thanks to its robust build, it weighed over 5 tons, making it one of the heaviest theropods ever, tied with Sucamus and Theophrastosaurus. To put that into perspective, 5 average-sized giraffes would weigh about the same as a Tarbosaurus. Some large specimens of Tarbosaurus, like a giant skull measuring 1.35 meters, 4.4 feet in length be suggest that certain adults reached an impressive 39 feet 12 meters from snout to tail. This size made it nearly identical in length to Tyrannosaurus rex, though it was still lighter and shorter in height. Despite being slightly smaller than the T-Rex, Tarbosaurus was still the largest predator in its environment. This dominance helped it secure its place as the top apex predator. Its position was reinforced by its incredibly powerful jaw and bite. The Tarbosaurus had a massive, heavily built skull, covered in large muscles due to a large fenestra, opening, which acted as an attachment point for these muscles, giving it a formidable bite. The bite force of Tarbosaurus was incredibly strong, estimated at 10,000 pounds per square inch. This made its bite more powerful than that of some larger theropods like Giganotosaurus, as well as any living animal today. This was disastrous for any herbivore in its environment, especially when considering the size and power of this predator. Tarbosaurus also had a terrifying set of teeth. Adults had between 58 and 64 large teeth, and they were more serrated than those of the Tyrannosaurus rex. These teeth, combined with its powerful bite, made the Tarbosaurus one of the most fearsome predators of its time. 
Tarbosaurus' immense strength and razor-sharp teeth turned it into a walking hydraulic press, easily crushing and tearing through its prey's flesh and bones. Each bite removed large chunks of meat, causing rapid blood loss and shock, ensuring its prey had little chance of survival. This fearsome predator preferred large herbivores like hadrosaurs, ankylosaurs, and titanosaurs, some of which were even larger than Tarbosaurus itself. Fossil evidence, including severe bite marks, confirmed that it often hunted these massive creatures, proving its dominance over the environment. Tarbosaurus didn't shy away from attacking even other massive theropods, as shown by the brutal disembowelment of Dinocheris. Despite its own size weighing up to seven tons, the Dinocheris couldn't escape the wrath of the Tarbosaurus, which left it severely wounded and torn apart. The ferocity of Tarbosaurus' attacks was so chaotic that, when the specimen was first discovered, it was unclear why its remains were so scattered and damaged. It took some time to understand the nature of its fatal assault, as the remains appeared to have been completely torn apart. Another potential target for the Tarbosaurus was the Therizinosaurus, a slightly smaller theropod that still weighed around 5 tons at its maximum. This creature had the largest known claws of any animal, extinct or living. While no direct evidence of Tarbosaurus predation on the Therizinosaurus has been found, this could change in the future. One thing remains certain, Tarbosaurus was a giant slayer. Some researchers even hypothesize that one of its special adaptations may have been tailored specifically for hunting the largest land animals ever the Titanosaurs. Tarbosaurus had a skull that was not only robust and muscular but also incredibly rigid. Its mandible was particularly sturdy, much more so than that of other tyrannosaurs. This unique rigidity is believed to have played a crucial role in taking down massive sauropods. It allowed the Tarbosaurus to maintain a firm grip while biting and created a special interlocking mechanism, which made it nearly impossible for sauropods to escape once caught. As for speed, while the Tarbosaurus may not have been the fastest predator, it could still reach maximum speeds of 25 mile, which is comparable to the speed of an African bush elephant. Though this might not seem incredibly fast, it was more than sufficient for catching slower, heavier prey like sauropods and large hadrosaurs. The Tarbosaurus was a highly skilled hunter, capable of messy attacks but also precise when necessary. It demonstrated remarkable scavenging abilities, with evidence showing large, careful bites around specific bones. This suggested that Tarbosaurus could expertly strip the flesh from carcasses, making it a valuable skill when opportunities arose. In addition to its hunting skills, the Tarbosaurus possessed a range of finely tuned senses that helped it thrive. One of its most notable senses was its sense of smell. A brain endocast revealed a large olfactory bulb and nerves traits commonly found in animals with a keen sense of smell. This powerful nose would have played a key role in tracking prey and surviving in its environment. The Tarbosaurus's keen sense of smell allowed it to track down live prey and detect the scent of deceased dinosaurs with ease. This ability was likely crucial for both hunting and scavenging, giving it a clear advantage over other predators in its environment. The sharp sense of smell also played a significant role in the Tarbosaurus's mating behaviors. Its olfactory system included a large Jacobson's organ, an organ in tetrapods that detects pheromones. With its size, the Tarbosaurus could easily pick up on various pheromones helping it locate potential mates. While its sense of smell was well developed, the Tarbosaurus's eyesight was not as advanced. The brain areas responsible for vision were underdeveloped indicating it wasn't the best at seeing. Moreover, unlike North American Tyrannosaurs, the Tarbosaurus had narrower skulls, causing its eyes to face more sideways than forward. This meant it lacked binocular vision, which could have impacted its hunting and socializing compared to other species. The Tarbosaurus made up for its limited vision with its extraordinary hearing. Its auditory nerve was notably large, suggesting a strong ability to focus on sounds, particularly those of potential prey. This heightened hearing also likely contributed to its excellent balance and coordination, crucial when engaging with large dinosaurs that were stronger in their movements. The Tarbosaurus also had a unique feature in its skin. Fossilized skin impressions have revealed that parts of its body were covered in protective scales, providing some defense during battles. Specifically, the feet and chest were confirmed to have scales. 
While it's not yet certain if the rest of the body had similar protection, other members of the Tyrannosaur family suggest that scales may have been present in other areas as well. The scales on the Tarbosaurus varied in size, with the largest ones measuring about 2 cm, similar in size to a dime. These scales did not overlap, providing a level of protection against minor injuries like cuts and scrapes, which could have led to infections. This is evident from the lack of infection-related damage on Tarbosaurus fossils, with the only known injury being a fractured bone in the hand that likely caused during a struggle with prey. This injury highlights the Tarbosaurus's active predatory nature, confirming it was far from being a lazy scavenger, but rather an efficient and dominant predator in its ecosystem. The Tarbosaurus roamed an enormous area, with its fossils found in the Gobi Desert and parts of present-day eastern China. Among all the areas where these remains were discovered, the Nemec Formation stands out as the most extensively studied region. This is where most Tarbosaurus fossils have been uncovered. Today the Nemec Formation is a dry, barren desert, but millions of years ago, it was a thriving oasis. The climate back then was warm and humid with large rivers, shallow lakes, and mudflats that split the land. These features helped support lush marshes and forests filled with conifers, creating a perfect environment for the Tarbosaurus and other prehistoric creatures to live and thrive. The Nemec Formation wasn't just home to Tarbosaurus, it was teeming with a variety of dinosaurs. Alongside Tarbosaurus, there were other well-known species such as Tarkia, Barsboldia, Halscoraptor, Prinocephale, Opistocolocaudia, Mononychus, Atosaurus, Gallimimus, and Sorornithoids. Interestingly, there were also several other members of the Tyrannosaur family in the same area, including Bagaradon, Raptorex, and Aeliramus. Luckily for the Tarbosaurus, these smaller predators were no match for it. None of these theropods posed a significant threat, with Aeliramus being the closest competition, weighing only about one ton. However, these smaller theropods could have been a challenge to younger Tarbosaurus, especially when they targeted smaller prey as part of their growth process. This likely led to some competition among the young dinosaurs. While the Nimic formation was generally lush and thriving, it wasn't without its challenges. The area experienced occasional droughts, similar to those seen in the famous Morrison Formation. These droughts would dry up water sources and create large dunes, making survival more difficult for the Tarbosaurus. During these harsh times, life became especially tough for the Tarbosaurus. Droughts led to the loss of life, forcing the remaining dinosaurs to fight for survival. With fewer resources, competition intensified, and only the toughest Tarbosaurus managed to make it through. Despite its dominance, no Tarbosaurus fossils have been found from after the Maastrichtian age, about 70 million years ago. It remains a mystery why this iconic theropod disappeared. Some believe it evolved into a new Tyrannosaur, while others think climate change may have played a role in its extinction. And that's a wrap for this episode. If you enjoyed learning about the Tarbosaurus, be sure to check out our recent video on the Velociraptor, which may have been a contemporary of the Tarbosaurus, but also living in the Gobi Desert during the late Cretaceous. We hope you enjoyed diving into the world of the Tarbosaurus with us. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more exciting dinosaur content, and leave a comment below telling us what you think. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.